We have this new national security law uh, that Beijing is essentially forcing Hong Kong to adopt. Uh, you said the following. This is the end of Hong Kong. This is the end of one country, two system. Make no mistake about it, that Beijing, the central people's government, has completely breached its promise to the Hong Kong people. So as one of Hong Kong's most vocal pro-democracy leaders, I have to ask you, if this is the end of Hong Kong, then what's, what's your next move? That's a very good question. Um, I think the international community needs to see what is happening to Hong Kong uh, and what is supposed to be a 50-year guarantee of a high degree of autonomy has come to an end only after just 23 years. Um, uh, the Hong Kong people was promised democracy. We still don't have democracy. Um, we were promised our freedom, and now they're trying to take away our freedom by directly legislating for this national security law and imposing it directly on Hong Kong, bypassing all our institutions, all our process, uh, which is not supposed to happen, but it's happening right before our eyes. And the world needs to know and needs to watch very carefully. Why do you think it's happening? I think it's uh, part of this uh, strategy by the People's Republic of China in trying to assert uh, itself onto uh, people uh, within the country. And also you can see that, um, you know, they are doing the same so-called wolf warrior di diplomacy around the world, uh, asserting themselves everywhere. For Western viewers that aren't familiar with how Hong Kong and how your government in particular operates, can you explain why certain members of Hong Kong's leadership, like the chief executive, Carrie Lam, would be putting Beijing's interest before Hong Kong's? Because she got her job because of Beijing. Uh, she got her job uh, because uh, Beijing appointed her. And uh, her job depends on Beijing's uh, continued support. And I think it's become very clear that this Hong Kong government, this administration is nothing but a puppet of uh, the uh, Central People's Government uh, and the so-called high degree of autonomy um, doesn't uh, apply anymore. 